This is something that I've recommended to over a quarter of a million people in the world, but I can't anymore. And there are some small reasons why I can't, and there's some big reasons why I can't. And some of these reasons actually pushed me to create my very own device. And I'm going to share that with you today as well. Hello, my name is Nick from We Can Explore It, and you've probably seen my Mophie video. It's one that I shot back in 2018, back when we had about 20 subscribers. And the whole reason that I shot that video is because I met countless people on the road that I invited into my camper, and I showed them the setup. I said, here's my Mophie. I have it wired like this. I have it going up to the roof. I, I showed them every single piece, and I thought to myself, why not just shoot a video and explain the whole thing? And like I said, it's been viewed by over 250,000 people I believe I was one of the very first people that shot a video about the Mophie and it was a great device it was one of the the first devices that allowed people to have a good connection on the road but as of recently there have been some things that I have been able to overlook before in the past but now as time has gone on I can't overlook them anymore. So I shot the video for the Mophie back in 2018, and one of the reasons why I can't recommend it anymore is because it virtually hasn't changed since then. It's been almost three years since I put that video out. And in technology, three years is almost a lifetime. So there's a few things with the Mophie right now that are just plain outdated. The first one is the Mophie only has 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And with 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, you have a speed cap. Some people say that speed is 300 megabits, but I honestly have never personally gotten a speed faster than 60 megabits with the Mophie. And I believe that has something to do with the congestion of the 2.4 gigahertz band wherever we're at. So picture yourself, you drive into a campground and you pull up your computer, your little Wi-Fi list there, and you see all of these Wi-Fi devices. Many, many of those are on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. They're essentially clogging that spectrum, so it really limits the amount of speed that you can get from the Mophie. Now, one way I was able to overcome some of the slower Wi-Fi speeds is to plug directly into an Ethernet port. But on this device, the Ethernet ports are limited to 100 megabits. Now, you might be saying, dude, 100 megabits fast enough. Back in the days when you weren't going to get a 100 megabit connection from LTE, it didn't really matter. But nowadays, I've been seeing speeds of 150 up to 220 megabits from the towers. And why have the device that you're getting it from limit you to 100. So those two things have to do with the hardware inside the Mophie itself. Another thing that has to do with the hardware is there's not a lot of memory inside here or the, the brains aren't as big in the Mophie. But those things I was able to overlook because it did work pretty well. But there was one thing that irked me time and time again and when you pile all of those on top of each other it just becomes something that I, I can't recommend anymore and that is the software inside here. In order to explain this, let me tell you a quick story. A few years ago, I wanted to bring this Mophie to Canada, and I wanted to use a Google Fi card inside here so that I just pay one bill and it works in Canada or it works in the United States. I expected to be able to just pop the card in here and have it fire up and do all the normal things, but I had to go through such a process in order to get this to work that I was going to do a whole video about how I did internet in Canada but because it was so difficult to get it to work, I couldn't even shoot that video because I could not recommend anybody try to do what I just did. It was to the point where I had to find the backup file of the Mophie and put it back on it to reset it back to a spot where it was because I just could not get it to work. And I, I program things, right, for a living. so. I thought if I had trouble with the Mophie and the software, I know a lot of people would. And I had a chance to talk to a few of the people that watched my video on YouTube. They purchased it and they sent me a message. They were having trouble with the software themselves. So after I interacted with a few people, uh, one of the things that I heard more than a few times was that the software was really difficult to work with. And I totally agree. So that along with all the hardware limitations just made it so that I could not tell people to go out and get a Mophie. I actually I had high hopes that Mophie was going to take care of their software issues and get something out that was really state of the art. They had a chance to, but I, I believe they really missed the boat on that, which is okay because when I went to look for something to take the place of the Mophie, something that I can recommend to people out there, I couldn't find anything that was going to work really well for people 
that wasn't terribly, terribly expensive. So that led me to create a device of my own. And I wanna introduce you today to the InstiConnect 4G. This one right here, this is the router for the InstiConnect. Now, in order to show you the whole thing, uh, I, I should just, here, let's, let's head over here for just a second. Let me pull out my phone. Let me get my camera working. All right, let's go check it out, all right? I wanna show you what I've been working on. Let me just shut this off. We've been home for a few weeks now from the Arizona Wide Open Wi-Fi Tour, and I've since moved in to the shed here and created a manufacturing facility for the InstiConnect device. You see those printers right there? Those 3D printers have essentially been running 24-7 ever since we've been back from Arizona. And oh, I got some big news too. We're going on tour again. I'll share that with you in just a sec. All right, but here's my uh, prototype area. And I wanna show you, this is this is the InstiConnect device. My idea with the InstiConnect device was to create a full system that included everything you needed. Because one of the things that uh, I talked with a lot of people about when I recommended the Mophie is they had questions about the wiring and they had questions about the antenna. And even that special mount that I made for the antenna in order to get them at the 45 degree angles, there were a lot of questions and I felt that that was the hardest part of the whole setup. And I thought if I could create a system that checks off all of my wish list for internet on the road and made it super easy for anybody to install on their rig or on their cabin or wherever and be able to get the best signal possible, then that was what I was gonna create. And that's what we're putting together right here with these 3D printers. You can see we got a bunch of angel wings right there. We have our uh, shipping department right there. We, we, there's a lot of things that are going on. This has been a lot, a lot of fun to be able to be a part of. And it's been really neat to be able to share this with you. Uh, I've never done anything like this, but it's been a, a great learning experience. And uh, just, I'm super excited with how it's working too. If you see the prototype that I have here, this is essentially the InstiConnect device. We have the angel wings, which you've, which you've seen before. And then we have the data cable that runs into the InstiConnect router. This router has a big brain. It has lots of memory to it. And we specifically designed it to have a big brain so that it could have really good software that'll help you lock onto the perfect bands and the perfect towers. And I'll show you that a little bit more in a second. But here's the uh, the modem so this is the whole system right here and it's gonna have an optional mount too I, I 3d printed the mount which this is mounted on when you buy an NC connect system you'll get the router you'll get the modem you get the angel wings you'll get the wire you'll get everything you need to set this up now there'll be an option to buy a mount just in case you have your own mount or if you want to put it on your ladder or something like that you can definitely do that but the way I design this as you can see here the 45 degree angles on this antenna and even the way the antennas are inside the 45 degree i tested each individual way they could be i tested the wires right here the length of the wire if you've ever seen one of those um dream catcher things that they have uh, some people have hanging from their mirror this is something very similar to that in that the it's designed to catch a signal and just you can see how it, it like a signal just flies into it and it's like boom and it, it gets it uh, and it just picks it up, it's super, super strong. But it takes that signal, brings it into the modem, and that modem turns that signal into data, passes it down the cable, and this cable here, I wanted a cable that was super easy to, if you wanna drill it through the roof, you drill it, send one wire up to your roof, and that's it. Or you can put this wire right outside your window, which is how uh, we did it when we were on tour. So we're gonna be doing it a couple different ways when we go on tour again, and I'll tell you more about that in a second. But that comes down here into the router. We have a plug-in that you can plug it into the wall, or you can wire it directly into 12 volts. That's why it has this uh, unique little plug-in port. One of the issues that I had with the Mophie is that I'd like to keep it running while we drove so that we had a Wi-Fi connection inside the car. And sometimes when it would hit a bump, the, the plug would actually jostle in there and it would shut off the connection and it would take a while to reboot and everything. This takes care of that. You can wire it directly into your coach. Makes it super easy to install. That's really what we were going for. So as you can see, the main reason why I can't recommend the Mophie anymore is because I'm building a device that I believe is much better, much more powerful, and has the ability to get much, much faster speed. So when you're out on the road and you're sharing your connection with your family, or when you're sharing your connection with those who you travel with, you have plenty of speed to share. I can almost guarantee that wherever you are, you will be the one that has the fastest signal because you have perfectly designed equipment 
to give you the best speeds that you can get on the road. If you're interested in grabbing one of these, I'd love to be able to work with you. Head over to InstiConnect, I-N-S-T-Y, connect.com. You'll see, scroll down the page, you can pre-order the 4G modem. I'm gonna start shipping these 4G modems within a few weeks, a couple weeks from now. And uh, the 5G modems is something that will be shipping late spring, early summer. Just to let you know what's really neat about this system too, since we're building it in a modular fashion, if at any point you decide to upgrade to the 5G model, you'll essentially be changing out half of the system. So you'll go from this modem to one that has four connectors and you'll go to a quad angel wing setup, but your router will stay the same. The software that you get used to will stay the same. Oh, by the way, talking about software, let me get you back over here. I wanna show you something. So now, as you remember, I talked a little bit about the Mophie and the software inside the Mophie and how I was uh, essentially frustrated with it. Well, I decided that in order for this system to be the best, or essentially the secret sauce of the system, it will be that the software is gonna be unmatched, right? So I thought of all the neat things that I would want to have in software and I put it inside the InstiConnect device. This is the InstiConnect dashboard and you can see right away that you get all of these indicators on what's going on. So right there I have an 80% signal with AT&T and if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see I have a visible card in there as a backup. And if I hit that little power button right by my thumb, it would the system would switch the SIM cards and allow me to connect through visible instead of AT&T. But you can do all kinds of neat things like see this right here where it goes into the, oh, got to put in my password. Hold on. It goes into what we have, the band scan and lock. So right here, you can see all the bands that are available to you. Not only bands, the InstiConnect will be able to lock you on to additional towers. So if you happen to be in a spot where you have a good signal, but the tower is very congested, you can come into your system right off your phone and you can find another tower, click on it and see what kind of speeds you're getting. Oh, and by the way, if you want to find out the speeds that you're getting, you just head back to the main screen there and you scroll down a little bit to the speed test and you just click that and it'll give you your very own speed test right there inside the system so you can switch bands you can do all the stuff that you need to i'm getting a pretty good speed right there 84 uh, off at 80 percent signal on at&t pretty sweet the nc connect system i designed it to be super easy i designed the antenna to pick up a signal the best that it can in any direction so you don't have to fool around with it and I designed a system that is super easy to use from your phone. So one of the things that bothered me about the Mophie is that when I'd get to a new spot and I would want to check the signal, if I want to check what kind of bands are available to me, I had to pull out my laptop and go through it because it just wasn't mobile friendly. I, I had high hopes for them. I thought, you know, they'll probably do some work on this and really try to dial in their system. Um, unfortunately, they didn't, but that's okay. So it just led me to one of the neatest projects that I've ever been able to work on because I love the road. I love being on the road. Somebody once asked me, Nick, what do you really love to do? And I said, you know what? I love to travel, but I love also to find internet. I just I love to do it. Antennas, uh, routers, wires, things like this is just, I think is the neatest stuff around. And so what better thing to do if you love to travel and you love to find internet, well, to help people just like you who love to travel or love to go out and explore, but be able to find the best internet you could possibly find. That's why I'm having so much fun with this project, but it's time now to get it out there to people who want it. So if this is something that you're interested in, maybe the system that you have right now just isn't getting you the best internet that you could ever get, head over to insticonnect.com, I-N-S-T-Y connect.com. Scroll down the page, you'll see a spot where you can pre-order. I'm hoping to get these out in the next couple weeks. I have everything possible that we need to. I have a batch that's pretty much ready to go out. And um, I'm getting those out to the people who have already pre-ordered. If you pre-order now, I'm planning on getting these out to people once we come back from our second tour on the Wide Open Wi-Fi Tour. The boys and I are heading down to Florida to do some installs to talk specifically about the InstiConnect system, how to install it, uh, what it looks like. We're going to be switching bands. We're going to be testing the four major providers again in, in Florida. This time, though, I promise to have a little bit more A-roll footage on the tour. Uh, one, one bummer about the tour in Arizona is that I took a bunch of A-roll on my GoPro camera. The boys and I stopped to get a cool picture on this overlook. I set the camera down, took the boys' picture, and I said, all right, let's go. We head back to the van. I forgot the GoPro right at that overlook. 
We realized it about 20 miles down the road. We turned around, drove back as fast as we could. When we got there, the GoPro was gone. Uh, that was a bummer, but the bummer of it is that I lost a lot of A-roll footage where I was telling, we were at a spot where the uh, Wi-Fi was so congested that the 2.4 gigahertz just didn't work. It was a good example, but I lost that. And uh, you know, there's just a lot of things that I wasn't able to, uh, to get back. This time I'm gonna keep a close eye on my cameras so that we can get some good A-roll footage out to you. And if there's something that you'd like to see on this specific Wi-Fi tour, drop it in the comments below. Love to be able to respond to those questions. I'm glad to have you along here. We're gonna be doing an install. If you happen to be in Florida, uh, drop a line down below and say, Nick, I am here. If we're nearby, maybe we'll stop by and you can see it firsthand and see how it's working. I'd love to be able to share any kind of info with you. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with this whole thing. Uh, let me know where you're at right now. Let me know um, if you have any questions on Wi-Fi, on towers, on all of this stuff. And I'll definitely do my best to uh, answer those. Thanks much. Uh, head over to InstiConnect, I-N-S-T-Y connect.com. If you're not ready to uh, pre-order one, uh, click on the button for more information. Uh, you can hop on the email list for the InstiConnect system. I'm uh, sending out messages and just kind of giving updates on how things are printing here and how things are going. I'm gonna try to do some behind the scenes stuff uh, through, for that, through that list as well. So head over there if you just would like some more information, I-N-S-T-Y connect. Com. We're going to be leaving in a few days, and so I will keep you posted on all of that. Oh, also, I'm going to try to be doing some more stuff via Instagram as well. So if you would like to link up with us on Instagram, head down below into the description, and you can see the link to our Instagram page as well. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Awesome. <laughs>